بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم I do swear by Al Qiyama, the day of resurrection. And I swear by the self accusing nafs. Does man think we will not reassemble his bones? Yes, indeed. We are most capable of restoring even their very fingertips. No. Indeed, man desires to deny what is yet to come, asking mockingly, When is this day of resurrection? So when the vision is dazzled, and the moon becomes dark, and the sun and moon are joined together, that day man will say, where is the escape? But no, there will be no escape. To your Lord that day is the place of rest. That day man will be informed of what he sent forth and left behind. No, the man will be a witness over his own nafs, his own soul, even if he presents his excuses. Do not rush your tongue trying to hasten the revelation of the Quran. Indeed, upon us is its collection and recitation. So once we have recited a revelation through Gabriel, then follow its recitation closely. Then, indeed, upon us is its recitation. But no, you love the immediate and neglect the hereafter. Faces that day will be radiant, looking at their Lord, and other faces that day will be distorted, anticipating something devastating to befall them. No. When the soul reaches the collarbone, and it is said, who will cure this person? And the dying person realizes it is their time to depart, and the leg is wound about the leg in a shroud. On that day, they will be driven to your Lord, and he did not accept the truth, and he did not pray, but he denied and turned away. Then he went to his family, swaggering boastfully. Woe to you, and woe, then woe to you, and woe. Does man think he will be left neglected? Was he not once a drop of sperm emitted? Then was he not a clinging substance? Then was not his form developed and perfected? Then was he not made of two kinds, male and female? Is such a creator unable to give life to the dead? <laughs>